Dear learners and listeners, welcome to NIOS. I'm Dr. Shweta and today we are going to talk about the domains of development and this is part one of the entire lesson. Development of children is a complex and a continuous process. It takes place in many areas or domains which together influences their holistic development. In the previous lesson, you have already learnt about growth and development of children and the principles of development. Today, we are going to talk about the various domains of development. So, at the end of this program, you will be able to list out the various developmental domains as well as you would be able to discuss the features of physical and motor development because I told you in the beginning that this is the first part of the program. So let us know about the various domains of development. Domains of development refer to different areas or aspects in which children's development takes place. The various domains of development are physical and motor development which includes the gross and fine motor skills, social emotional development which refers to an understanding of self and the social environment, Managing and expressing emotions in a socially desirable manner. Next is the moral development, which refers to the sense of right and wrong. Another domain of development is cognitive development, which pertains to the thinking and understanding of various concepts and phenomena. The last which we are going to discuss in the entire lesson is language development, which includes the language development, communication, emergent and early literacy focus on listening, comprehension, oral or speaking skills and writing. So, as already said in this video, we will learn about how the physical development takes place in children and we'll talk about the other domains of development in the upcoming program. So, first of all, in this program, we'll talk about physical and motor development. Physical growth and development include increase in height, weight and changes in the proportion of the body structure. It also includes the development of bones. The entire structure of body depends on the bones, that is on their size, proportion and density. They give an overall configuration and look to the body. It has been discussed in the previous lesson that physical development takes place in two ways which is proximodistal and cephalocaudal development. Physical development includes not only changes that are happening externally but also what happens internally in the body. It also includes changes and maturation of internal organs. As the children grow physically, the internal organs including the brain and the central nervous system also develop. Children develop two broad kinds of motor skills and these are the gross motor skills and the fine motor skills. Let us learn about these two skills. If we talk about the gross motor skills, it involves the large muscles and help control actions of children such as crawling, standing, walking, climbing, running and so forth. Next is the fine motor skills. Fine motor skills involve small muscles and affects the ability to use hands and fingers effectively. Fine motor skill development usually involves eye-hand coordination which is the ability to match the movement of the hands with what the eyes see. Developing fine motor skills help children in holding things like a cup or a crayon, turning the pages of a book, buttoning and zipping, drawing and writing, etc. In simple words, fine motor skills help children grasp, hold, move and handle different objects. Most of the activities of children as well as ours require a combination of gross and fine motor skills. Physical development takes place continuously throughout our entire life. However, the nature and rate of growth may vary depending upon the stage of development. Every child develops at his or her own pace. Some children grow faster, 
while some are not that fast. But it does not mean that they are physically immature or less developed. Every child is different. Therefore, individual differences can be seen among children sharing similar genomes and environmental conditions. In addition to that, gender differences in physical development can also be observed. So, dear learners, in this program, we discussed that in the entire lesson and the upcoming videos, we will be talking about the various domains of development. We also discussed the first domain of development, which is the physical and motor domain. And in that, we discussed that what are gross motor skills and what are fine motor skills. As discussed, gross motor skills involve the movement of large muscles. And if we talk about the fine motor skills, they involve that how you hold objects, like holding a cup, holding a crayon, turning up the pages. And these gross and fine motor skills are very important for us to do the day-to-day -day things. I hope you have understood about today's topic. In the next program, we will be talking about the socio-emotional development of little children. With this, I end up for today's program. I hope you have understood it well. Thank you.